All right, this is my new smart deadbolt. Uh, we've had a lot of security issues in uh, my neighborhood lately. Uh, just some craziness, a uh, little bit of uh, negative elements with uh, addicts and whatnot walking the streets. Uh, I wanted a way to make sure that my door was locked uh, and, and to be able to double check. I also wanted to be able to more easily get in and out of the house when I get off work. Um, so did some research and this is what I came up with. Uh, now it's important to know in order to use this with Alexa, you will need a third party unit, an additional bridge unit. Uh, I don't have that yet. That's why I haven't installed it yet. Uh, but I've done some playing with it and reading and I'm really into it. So, all right, let's take a look first. This is the internal unit. This is what's inside the house. Uh, this is what you turn for your deadbolt uh, to lock and unlock the door physically. It takes four AA batteries and has a reset switch here. Uh, it does have a rubber grommet to make sure you get a really good fit onto your door. And a back plate. This back plate is uh, basically what holds the other half of the deadbolt together and onto the door. Uh, and then this one, then it, then it bolts in uh, with a bolt here and a bolt here. Corresponds on the plate. So, the inside of the unit, uh, a couple of things. This is where we connect the external unit. And this is the left-right switch, which allows you to change the orientation of the lock. Uh, so that its smart systems know that it's locking to the left or the right that's going to matter whether this is locked or this is locked. Pretty cool stuff. And it's nice and heavy. Uh, it's got a good tactile uh, response. Uh, it's got a good weight in my hand. Uh, it's made out of metal. It's not just cheap plastic and um, chintzy materials. Uh, the next part of it is the outside unit. Again, we've got a nice rubber, um, piece to make sure that you get a good seal. Uh, this would work perfectly fine in all weather conditions. So like if you're doing it on a full exterior door, uh, that totally works. Mine's, uh, ex it's an exterior door, but it goes to an enclosed porch. So, it's never really going to see any weather. Um, there are a few options here. Uh, the first is you've got your thumbprint reader, fingerprint reader. Uh, additionally, you got, you see numbers for a keypad. Uh, so you can enter a code in. Uh, and you also have these, these key fobs. Uh, you just put these on your keychain and tap and it'll unlock. Uh, if all else fails, you do have a fail safe option. First off, there's a USB-C port here for uh, charging. So if it does die on you, um, the battery's died while you're locked out of the house, you can use that to recharge it quick. Um, and this opens up right here, connects to where your key would go. And uh, these are laser cut style keys. I don't think they're actually laser cut, uh, but they are that laser cut style. Makes them a lot harder to copy, uh, which is kind of cool. So we've got multiple backup procedures. Uh, and of course you can also uh, unlock it with the app because uh, there's a specific app for it that you download as well as with uh, your, your smart home assistant, be that Alexa or Google Nest um, or whatever Google Home. Um, it does come with the actual deadbolt. Uh, it, is force, it is a force proof, so you can't just force it open. Uh, it has to have the um, shaft turned. And uh, in addition to coming with the deadbolt, it does come with the receiver plate. 
uh, this so that once you've uh, routed into the wood of your frame, you've got a nice protected uh, spot for that to go so it's not just going into raw wood. Um, that way, you know, you're not uh, compromising the uh, structure of the door. And then finally, you have your hardware package, uh, which includes the shafts to connect everything, the bolts, the screws, everything you need to get this installed. And last and definitely not least is the templates. Uh, these will help you install it on your door. Um, they're designed so that you can actually put it onto the door, just hold it there, use a level to level everything out. It's all one-to-one, -one, so you can use it as a template to just... Uh, use your pencil to trace with. Uh, everything will work perfectly, and it is set up with a left and right orientation, uh, depending on your door. So that's everything here. Uh, again, you download the app, and you can control with the app, and if you get the bridge, it'll work with the bridge. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's definitely heavy-duty. Uh, it's one of the coolest things I've found, uh, adding to that security system, um, as well as, you know, to make me feel good about my wife being at home, I can always check and make sure the door is locked for her. Uh, she can lock the door from her easy chair. I can lock the door from bed. Um, that's really cool to me. And one of the main reasons I started getting smart home accessories in the first place, um, this one seems to be a pretty good entry, and at the price point, I couldn't say no. Um, again, things I really like about it is I like that it's got multiple locking and unlocking features. Um, there's a lot of ways to not get locked out of your house with it, and I love that. Uh, it was the first thing my wife asked about is, what do we do if the battery dies? What do we do if I forget my code? What do we do if I lose my key fob? What do we do if my fingers hurt and I lost my key fob and I forgot my code and I don't have my phone? Uh, she wants to make sure that we're protected no matter what. Uh, one of the other cool features, because it is a smart lock, is it, it allows you to create e-keys uh, so that I can text a key to my son and uh, it can be set up either as a one-time use or as a timeout so that I can let, have him come in and feed the cats that I'm sure you've heard in the background, because uh, she wants fed at all times. Uh, if I'm on vacation, I can give him an e-key. He can come in, feed the cats, and uh, then lock up when he leaves, and that key expires uh, for me to give him a new one the next day so he's not in my house partying and drinking my beer. Uh, that's kind of a cool feature, I think. Um, and just one of the things that made me want a smart lock, not just a new deadbolt. Uh, so it's, uh, definitely worth every penny I spent on it and I'm very, very happy with it. I can't wait to get it installed.